Good afternoon, guys. Today from Technitude, bringing a very nice tutorial about you, about a nice navigation menu bar. Uh, as uh, you can see on the screen, some there's some boxes. Looks like structure. Uh, I just got this idea when I'm playing the Call of Duty. Sorry, guys, not Call of Duty. I just playing Battlefield Bad Company 2, and in that I just saw a navigation menu for game. I just uh, thought that I can create that uh, so I just created it in HTML and just using CSS guys nothing else uh, HTML and CSS body fitting to it so uh, as I can make a review to here you can see there uh, this is how I need and it's caused boom it's it's big fully yellow and text font changes but guys you will notice one thing that if I just remove it on half it goes back it doesn't goes from till here and just comes again back so and you can see when notice here that the text between us only changes see you can see the o is the o the p is half changed that it's that that's only the half change color so what i have done is guys i just uh, took some divs and just put it in there css so let's uh, start creating it from jim river i just go and just create a new HTML, uh, guys. I am here using Dreamweaver CC. You can use any of you you like. And I just want to the code view. I, I like the code view most. In the code view, I am just going to enter div tag. If you don't have, if you're using CC, you can go in structure and div. And I'm just going to in the main. Okay, delete. And in the inside the div tag. I'm just going to create an another div and I'm just going to add content <laughs> so guys I'm using here only class because class is a repeatable object so it can be repeatable and that's it for that and further if I done that class main div class content and div body you have to do is inside that you have to write a p tag in that p tag just write home and outside that you have to write home there and I don't save this cute now save and let me preview here you will see something like uh, upside down structures and nothing cool in that so in design we will see that a div inside a div a nice but didn't look so effective to end so I'm now just we're just going to do is I'm create our CSS uh, if you're using Dreamweaver CC guys just uh, go on source panel you have of CSS designer just clap on plus and define in page right you will see your style style tags came apparently up yours but um, this available is only in CSS uh, sorry guys this is available in only CC you can use of any of them uh, no. so if you're defining a CSS in page that's not a good idea to define but uh, that's it. so that's okay because this for this tutorial I'm just going to define in page in that I'm just first going to write a main dot main define my first diff class in that just give it the height that height must be of 40 pixels and with so be of 200 pixels that you will s uh, see that in the design view that it's apparently become short nothing cool happens there and in that I'm just going to code view uh, I'm just going to do text text align to center font family font family too I'm just uh, using a nice font name is chunk fire Roman you can download it or you can use any font but it matters it and I'm going in font 5 chunk fire Roman and just uh, font size thing so font size must be of uh, 24 not guys just select 20 pixels refresh it and just go to design you will see this is not something not looking nice let's go on speed view and just in that right background k g r o u n g colon you select color guys uh, 
and I'm just taking dark grey. You will observe, guys, that this, it doesn't look uh, like an hash code color code because uh, I'm using RGBA. If you want to use RGBA color code, just, go, just click space in Dreamweaver, go on color, and select the arrow. Just click on it, you will see a color format. Select which color you like RGB, 3 digit, hex, 6 digit. Um, just select RGBA and select the color. The 6 digit goes. And basically, guys, this is nice because we can set our transparency code to it. So if this is 1, means it's a whole transparent. But if it's 0, the background will not be visible to anyone. Uh, let me let me check it out. Um, junk fire woman background. RGBA F12 Wait a minute guys, something is wrong uh, This is it guys, just give it a semicolon That's it You took it at this But you will observe one thing guys that It's uh, not in horizontally cent Vertically centered uh, As you can observe in another one that Wait a minute guys, let me open that Oh, sorry guys in that that the text is horizontally centered too so what I've done is I'll just give it a line height so line height of I think so 40 pixels G giving the line height of your own and uh, line height of uh, 40 pixels that uh, that matters is nothing now I just uh, move on further and dot main use your dot content structure dot content give it a height height of this what you have 40 pixels height 40 pixels and width width must be width first give it 200 pixels and just give the background background I'm just using this color a nice nice color nice yellow color refresh you will see this this text text is not looking nice to now what do you have to do I just give a P paragraph a class and just take a cop com sorry guys just take cute and in that I just write dot tooth open close in the tooth just write height height must be of 40 pixels width of 200 pixels and F12 you'll see this and uh, it's now is uh, centered uh, now, as you go and move on further, we just uh, start something. Just give it a color. Color. Uh, no, don't give it a. Uh, we need a black color. In this, just give it a white. C O L O. Color. Hash F F. Sorry guys. Shift hash. F F F. Space color and just take a white. You will say that nothing, you will nothing observe till now. And in that B, just give it a color, a color black, colon. Refresh. That's it. That's it, guys. Move further. And in that, I'm just going to give a position tag, and the so it's going to position to a relative. Position relative and selecting this div. Uh, selecting this div, I check the position to relative constants. This is a P tag, and this is a D. So I'm just going to live view, you will see this, and I'm just click on inspect, you will see that some borders are applied to it. And this is this feature is only available guys in CC. So what you're gonna what you're gonna do is that I'm just going to write margin 
to zero pixels and padding padding to zero pixels and as same just copy this and just write it down here that's it you will see that they both stick together yes you can see they both stick together at the time that and then this is look nice but uh, still you got some uh, issues that uh, how can you make it settle here it's too easy guys just now we have to do is just change this in go to dot content and just change the width things to be 40 uh, that's it and just hit the overflow to overflow to hidden so your text must be invisible cute I oh, sorry guys not in this in here just just uh, write overflow to hidden your text is now invisible and uh, now just uh, apply it in how uh, what you can see it's just a transition property first we have to do is just uh, go in dot content and write uh, transition transition all uh, things are 0.5 seconds or you can denote in milliseconds that doesn't matter is that uh, uh, easy now is in select is in and 0 seconds so what it means guys is uh, that uh, what the hover effect is in the tran must be as a transition occurs in 0.5 seconds and I don't want in any delay so just zero seconds if you want some uh, if you want some that, that uh, it must occur afterwards when a uh, hover effects done that's another thing that's another thing we are going to uh, see in the another tutorial now we're just going to create dot content so dot main just write dot main uh, golden hover space and write which one you want to affect with the, as any in one main uh, write as dot content store that in that right high uh, width to be things so 200 pixels that's it we just want that much nothing more than that you will observe something that now you won't see anything you won't see this is uh, not a nice one but in the browser you can just you can check it out uh, it's a uh, pretty look nice but uh, we didn't want like this we just want it to be in we just want it to be as it as it this so for creating this you have to do is uh, just go into dream and just uh, in that we just uh, go to our dot content and just give top uh, just give the top in negative uh, how much of width of your first content first div is uh, it's, sorry guys how much height it is uh, it's a 40 so just give it in minus 40 so it just shift this uh, bottom layer to the top so what we can say it's top to minus 40 pixels colon you will see that you observe something in browser too that's it guys just create it successfully just done it you can see there and for another things guys I just face the problem so how can I face it towards you so let me introduce you that problem I faced is I just uh, once I done is that I just copy and paste it all uh, but it didn't occurs to be floating to left so what I've done is I took a div and just given an ID of uh, container container sorry guys ID to be container and inside that uh, sorry guys just don't just don't end that here and just go to bar one and the div you will see that a first div inside and another div 
inside that div will be in another div and that's the end of div and that is the main hand div end of div and just go to refresh and now we have to do is just to go in a CSS panel apply some to your container uh, hash container because it's an ID in that we just write uh, height uh, to 40 pixels height of course because the height is that much only and just give width things so to be auto so refresh you will now just we have to do is copy this copy this the whole this part two divs and just go hit end twice twice you will see now that now just have to do you will see this that all is downwards you have to do is go in your main div and just give it a float float towards the left refresh you will see something and let's preview the browser there uh, we just successfully creating it guys uh, we just successfully created this uh, issue solve this issue what I faced it and in that now our second issue is if I just give the link and uh, some of the basic uh, must didn't know that who are the basic to it so if I just give a link the underline appears and that didn't look nice so for that guys just give the link um, just write a space each riff uh, just give the hash not now and anything I don't want in that I just and they you will see a link appears but the lines appears too so for that you have to do uh, you just use in every site that we wanted to you just go right a and just give text uh, decoration to set it to none so uh, refresh that line disappears that's it and and guys uh, one more thing that, we are, that I want to tell you see is that uh, you have to separate them because uh, it didn't look nice that it just joins everything so just give it a uh, in the main div just give it a main and this right border no, sorry don't give border guys just give margin hyphen right margin hyphen right I think she has margin hyphen right and in that right right uh, 10 pixels per margin refresh and for that I just go and change this home to home to contact contact c o n t a c t s c o n t a c t s c o n t a c t s home contacts portfolio sorry for my spelling if it's wrong guys you just uh, check it out because I'm not good at language R F portfolio and last one things about this and the last time to change is about this F12 preprint browser and if you if you see it's that that uh, uh, it didn't look nice uh, yeah, the text uh, this layer is appearing to be this layer is appearing to be uh, at the uh, at the text uh, so what you have to do is just basically do is go in here and small the size of the div just make it to go, go in the tilt and sorry I just go in with uh, con dot content and just change the width to 35 or uh, another thing that it's it's also feeling now also it's feeling too short uh, then you have to do and just the last thing is go to uh, just go down just go up uh, where it says uh, <sighs> just it says that uh, in main and just uh, go to font size given and just just small it out, just small it 
and make it small and that's it god this is as you created it and if, if you can see that that it uh, the text is feeling to be at adjacent because it's it seems to be cutting it seems that that the text is changing certainly and uh, that's it guys uh, you just you know, learn and how to create a noise called the uh, battlefield bad company to navigation manual you can create it uh, just try it by your own and let me know what you what you difficult you face and guys if you like this tutorial please 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 subscribe uh, from techno tutorial and that's it goodbye uh, meet you later uh, this seems to be long tutorial guys